So hello again, uh, how are you? <laughs> Good, thank you, how are you? Uh, Good, thank you. So today's, um, that's great. Okay. Uh, so uh, today's topic is uh, autonomous driving systems. Uh, so basically uh, we will try to um, and drive our simulator car uh, automatically. Um, and so it's, uh, I guess, pretty interesting topic. So like interaction and any questions, I will come from you at any point if something uh, seems interesting. So uh, we are going to look um, at Apollo. This is uh, one of the autonomous uh, systems. And uh, we are going to look at the interface, uh, how, how um, the interface looks like, uh, how to launch it, uh, how to run it. Um, uh, and <clears throat> then we, we will look uh, on the um, uh, new version of the simulator. Um, uh, so we'll see what kind of problems uh, the old one had and uh, how it got fixed in, in current version, uh, the new version. And in the end, uh, we will uh, try to <clears throat> uh, uh, run control the Apollo with uh, Python API. Okay. I guess the feed is a bit bad, so I'll turn off the camera. Uh, so uh, this is, I guess, a very good illustration of um, uh, how how the uh, in, uh, uh, the Apollo and uh, simulator interact. So I'll, I'll get this a bit larger, I guess. Can you see it? Uh, yes, I guess um, I, I'll just describe it. Uh, so in the middle, there is an autonomous system, in this case, Apollo. On the left, there is um, a simulator. It creates some environment like uh, traffic lights, obstacles, car with its sensors, and um, with the bridge connection, uh, it connects to Apollo. Then Apollo's uh, perception module uh, receives uh, this information. Uh, so um, it uh, processes this information uh, that, like uh, from camera and uh, detects these obstacles and um, traffic lights, uh, then if we give Apollo a, at this point at some destination, uh, uh, the planning module then uh, routes uh, with, with other modules, uh, routes uh, at the destination, like way there, and then uh, the control module um, uh, tries to connect back with bridge connection to the simulator and drive the car. Uh, this is actually Mm. Now, this is actually, uh, this slide is from presentation of uh, the demo of the new version. So it has a lot of good links uh, here, uh, this presentation. So I will give this um, in the chat to have it in case you have some, um, some questions. Uh, I want to... I won't copy that. I won't repeat that. So about Apollo. In order to, uh, this is Apollo's uh, GitHub um, page. Uh, so uh, about name, I guess uh, this is uh, like a good saying. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. We not not because they are easy, but because they are hard. This is the website, and here is um, uh, this is the code, by the way. Uh, and uh, like uh, below, there is um, manuals for different uh, versions of Apollo. This is very detailed, and in case of troubleshooting, I guess it's very useful. But um, a shorter and a more precise version is already um, on the page of. Uh, our simulator and documentation section. Uh, it's called latest Apollo, if you want to find it. So 
Um, I will just look at this. Um, so um, it starts with um, system requirements and hardware requirements. So we don't need all of this now if you are going to use our workstation. Uh, it already, already has all this set up and uh, there are only few uh, commands uh, needed to run Apollo. I will show you which uh, they are, but um, in case, uh, so you won't need all of this. Um, so, but in case you want to try it uh, on your workstation, then I will just quickly um, go through this. So what's it, what is needed? So first of all, I guess um, NVIDIA card is needed um, with at least eight, eight gigabytes of memory. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so it, it is more demanding than uh, our simulator um, in, the, in that regard. So then latest uh, uh, NVIDIA driver, um, then it requires Docker. Yes, it's not uh, compatible with IMD card, only with the NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I, I think that they will optimize it um, soon. Mm, the progress um, like they are having um, and the speed they're going, I think that it will come soon. Um, Okay, uh, so okay, so Docker is needed. Um, Docker is a type of virtualization. Uh, so Apollo runs from this virtual environment from Docker image. We will see how it's uh, uh, how it's done. done. Then uh, Nvidia um, needs to be installed uh, inside this Docker, like uh, with these instructions. Here, yes, it's uh, easy to miss, by the way. Uh, and then just that's it. It's ready. Uh, we can clone. Uh, we can clone um, uh, from the repository, and uh, this is already done also. Um, and uh, this is um, uh, we, we will start from here. Um, so by the way, if uh, everything is set up correctly. We should see this kind of um, table when we run NVIDIA SMI. Uh, so it shows um, the configuration of, of uh, con parameters of NVIDIA. And here is um, memory, video memory, total and current, and current usage. Okay, so we need to get to this Apollo folder and then uh, run this uh, command. If you are going to connect to this workstation, you need to do all this in order to try Apollo. So this basically is starts. You can connect from Windows to our workstation. Yes. Uh, we have a manual how to connect um, to this workstation with uh, no machine, no machine application. This is it. Um, I think we have documentation about it. So we can uh, send it to you um, um, after the seminar. This is the application. Okay. Mm. So Uh, then uh, when uh, this uh, um, image is run, then we should go into, into it. 
So now we are inside uh, this uh, Docker image and we can now in interact with Apollo. And uh, so this next command uh, we should skip because it is a building command and this actually uh, needs to only run a first time, like once. Uh, and it takes about half an hour or, or, or more. But after a subsequent uh, uh, run, uh, runs um, like it, it only is needed once so we can skip it now so there is now in the manual adding a vehicle to apollo and adding a map but uh, i'll show you, you this uh, after um, uh, after we uh, run the dream viewer and the apollo so let's just keep it for now and then we need this command uh, this is actually uh, that starts the apollo service uh, it's called Dream Viewer, by the way. Apollo. Okay, here it says that it, in order to view it, uh, this is the address, so we should copy it in the browser. But at this point, I guess it's, it's a good idea to start our simulator. To interact with it. So this is a regular simulator. Mm, it has uh, this map and and vehicle uh, link on. So if we start, if we run it now. We can see now that the bridge is disconnected, but the next command, which is um, which is the uh, this one, the bridge, um, it should activate the bridge between Apollo and Simulator. So now you can see that it is connected. So we can actually uh, see uh, the sensor configuration and what is transferred um, from the simulator like this. We should go um, in, into the Docker again, and then there is this command, cyber monitor. And it shows all the uh, sensors. So I can run it again with the full screen too. Um, to normally view it. So the green ones are the sensors that uh, are active right now. So let's close it. Okay, uh, so next let's run uh, Apollo. Uh, so now here, uh, what we need to do is, um, this is how it looks like, uh, it's called Dream Viewer. Mm, uh, here we need to uh, pick a car. There is something wrong with menus. And pick a map. Then uh, change uh, page here. And here are all the modules uh, that are required. So uh, here, if we activate, try to activate um, localization. I hope, by the way, that uh, it runs on live because um, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it uh, will require to restart um, uh, the workstation. Maybe, I don't, I'm not sure.
Okay, let's try to um, restart uh, Apple itself. Um, so this is the way to stop it, stop that service. And then just restart it. Actually, stopping um, image takes more time than running. It's interesting. Let's start it again. Somehow this kind of problem never, um, never happened during testing, so I'm not sure if it uh, starts or not. Maybe it will require to restart, and I'm not sure about the recording. So if I restart my workstation, the recording will stop. So, interesting. So it doesn't work, um, this uh, web, web page kind of thing, interface. Uh, what I wanted to tell you uh, on the, uh, lastly, uh, let's try to control um, our um, Apollo uh, from the Python. This is the code for it. Uh, let's try first if it runs. And see. This is, by the way, the new version of the simulator. I'll quickly talk about it also. So now, um, in this case, uh, maps, like it has the same principle. Uh, there are maps, vehicles, um, and there are addition plugins. I will talk about it shortly. So now, if we want to add maps, uh, we don't need to go to the official website. Uh, now it can be uh, directly added from the store, which is also here, just uh, we can uh, Click here, and it will be added here. And the vehicles, uh, if you remember, um, there was um, uh, like um, uh, in sensors, um, uh, it needed um, like uh, so. There was a JSON format uh, that uh, it, through which we could. 
configure uh, sensors. But in this case, uh, there are uh, no JSON needed anymore. It can be directly added from here. Like, for example, we can just pick this and JSON format is just included. So it is a great upgrade. We don't need to uh, deal with JSON anymore. Just this, we don't, uh, we can't, we, um, I just leave it. I won't uh, create any new uh, configuration. Mm, so let's just run uh, the, the same, the other things are the same, so there's no problem with it. Uh, so let's uh, run the API only version and try it with the code. I guess it won't run here too. Yes, I think the restart will help, but the recording will be uh, stopped. Alex, a question from my side. Is this 6.0.0, yes. .0, the Apollo? What you yes, doing? yes, yes. I had the same issue in my machine. I had the issue twice. Which, which one? The, uh, the modules won't turn on in the dream view. Yeah. Yeah, so the transform module would turn on, but then the localization module would not turn on. I The only solution I was able to do, see the localization, yes. yeah, localization yes. would not turn on. And the only solution I could figure out was uh, to uh, remove this folder yeah. and reinstall it again, unfortunately. I also looked it up in the GitHub if if somebody also had the same issue with Apollo 6.0, so only first time it works. So when you make a reinstall, it works for the first time. And after that, you know, if you stop it and restart it, it doesn't work. That's quite unfortunate. I had to do it twice. Okay, but it takes a lot of time, like no. half an hour to build it from scratch. So that's not an option for now. Yeah, for now, yeah. It's not an option. So I guess the restart will do and we'll continue after this. Uh, that's the only uh, option that I can think of. Yeah, I think let's, let's try that. Okay. Oh, uh, no, I think uh, if I just disconnect, uh, uh, the recording will, will remain. So I'll just uh, disconnect, okay? We'll be back soon. Yes, let's do it. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So let's try now.
Mm, I never seen this error before, by the way. Now at least this uh, scrolls work. Okay, now it's connected. Uh, let's look at um, Dream Viewer. turn on. Okay, let's try one thing. No, it's not working. Alex, how did you fix it the last time? We just we just uploaded it to new version, right? Sorry? How did we fix it last time? Remember when we first uh, started using Apollo, we had the same problem at uh, the beginning. Uh, yes, that time we had problem with perception in soft flights. Uh, that has different solution than this is a new problem that well, first appeared okay. now. I guess the only solution is to um, that comes to mind is really uh, 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 that you suggested that to uh, reinstall the Apollo. Yeah, but that uh, requires a lot of time. So um, I guess um, uh, these problems uh, will be fixed on the next seminar, uh, and. Um, there we will try to um, show you how the polo works. Yes, I think that's, that's a good solution. And as I remember, the uh, next seminar was also about Apollo, right? Yes, the next seminar is about uh, modeling a testing scenario, something like this, for example. So, uh, I'll, okay, I'll then I think we can... Mm -hmm. I think we can also uh, show some stuff from this seminar on this Yes, basically uh, you are going to need um, Apollo uh, from Python because uh, this is a really good way to uh, controlling Apollo with uh, Python is, is a really good way to then uh, run different test scenarios uh in one code for example in this case and uh to do it is really easy this is uh, how it's done by the way so this is just connects the bridge um uh, this uh, creates a connection uh to the dream viewer uh, apollo service uh, exactly the same way as we had a sim connection here then it sets the um map uh, then it sets the vehicle then all the modules that are needed and destination, we can give it, for example, like 400 meters in the uh, forward. And then uh, we give all these uh, things to uh, Apollo and it, it just run it and it works. 
And then we can add something like this, for example, with our comments, of course. And all it does is, uh, for example, uh, so pedestrian appears in front of a car and uh, we'll see if Apollo reacts like it stops or not. So it's actually worked. I guess when Apollo will be fixed, uh, it can be checked. Uh, so um, just a very simple uh, example from the top of my head. head. So this can be done um, uh, with uh, controlling Python um, API uh, to control Apollo. But it has a big disadvantage, actually, because uh, to set a destination, um, it's hard to do it without visual uh, visually seeing the map. For example, if we want to set a destination around the corner, it's really hard um, to do that uh, in the Python, with Python. It, you can only do like simple things like four meters forward or stuff like that. Uh, so that's, I guess, uh, um, it for now, for today. And um, we'll see the rest of it and how Apollo works on the next seminar. Okay, thank you. Um. Just uh, one more thing to add. Uh, according to our previous schedule, like uh, we had the next seminar on Friday, which is the Easter holiday already, so we moved on uh, Thursday. I hope uh, it will work for you. And um, in order to add uh, what um, Levan and Alex uh, proposed regarding Swapol, as it didn't work for today, if it will be fine for you, we can start uh, 30 minutes earlier. Um, that regularly we do, um, and we can try to see the same um, on, on Thursday. Uh, I will write in Telegram, so if you will have any rejections, you can write there, or any other ideas, it will be totally fine. And thank you for, for today. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex, for the seminar. I'll stop recording now. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye.